Now, some of the really key places, we, we talked about some extremes and stuff, but some of the really key places that you wanna look for, for fish spawning is typically around cover. Very, very rarely will you find a fish barring some smallmouth bass, but most of the time you'll find fish spawning next to something or around something or in a grass bed. They, they like to be able to feel like they're protecting an area, and they are. They're protecting their bed, whether it's a small bed or whether it's a big bed. They're protecting that bed, and, and it's almost like they like to have some walls around them. One, one of the major things, and some of the stuff we're gonna look at today, is grass beds. And I know not all lakes have grass beds in them, but grass beds, uh, and once again, depth depending on the clarity of the water, are one of the main places that, that you can find spawning fish. And in some grass beds, you'll find fish that, that live in those grass beds all year long. But when they're spawning, as far as grass beds go, what you want to find, you don't want to find the absolute thickest areas of the grass beds. You want to find the, the sparser areas or thick areas that have a lot of what I'll call caverns or holes in them. And, and there, there's, a, there's a, some areas on some lakes that, that down in Florida that we even call, uh, we'll call them trash cans, where it'll be a, just a big area of, of hydrilla or eelgrass, and it'll literally look like somebody took a, a trash can and just made a hole, a perfectly round hole right down in it. Well, it, somebody did make that, it was bass. They get down there and they start, you know, they make their beds circular and they get down there and they'll actually kick the grass, you know, up off the bottom and they'll make a circular. Well, then it comes up and it actually looks like a, you know, a cylinder went down through there or a trash can. And that's so if you get into a big area, a big grass bed, you know, this is a hydrilla bed, but you get in a big area like this and you start seeing all those just like distinct holes, you know what that is. That's, that's an area where the bass are spawning. So that's one of the one of the really key things is either looking for those holes or looking for an area where the grass is sparse um, next to where it's thicker. That's that's the two main things when you're looking at a grass bed as far as for finding uh, the spawning fish. Now moving away from grass, moving more into um, maybe more traditional lakes like like say Tennessee, uh, the Ozarks. South Carolina, North Carolina lakes, stuff like that. Typically what you want to try to find, barring a couple of the places that will have willow grass in it, um, what you want to find is just any kind of isolated cover. Whether it's a little brush top, whether it's a little stick sticking up. Um, you get back in, in, in some bays and, and lakes, you know, and in, in let's say like the Mid-South, you get back in, in any little bays and any little piece of cover sticking up, you know, you really want to make sure you, you, you work those over and we'll, and we'll go over all the, the lures and stuff here in just a few minutes, but you really want to make sure you work over any little isolated thing. That's really a key to finding spawning fish in a lake that doesn't have any grass in it is find an isolated little pieces of cover that, that, that just really, like I said, they like to spawn next to something and, and it just, it makes them feel secure. It makes them feel happy. It makes them feel like that's their little home. And that's the place they're guarding. Well, fortunately, a lot of times that kind of stuff is sticking out of the water and we can see it. But some of the technology that we have now, um, I know a lot of guys and I've done it a little bit myself, you know, most of the time the fish are spawning, let's say fairly shallow, you know, five feet or less. Most of the time there's obviously extreme situations, but you can actually use your side imaging and, 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 and even your forward facing sonar, say, big stump fields and the water might be just a little bit too dirty to be able to see the stumps, take that forward facing sonar and, and, and scan around out there and, and find each one of those stumps and fire over there. You know, like I said, we'll go over the worm or the, uh, the lures in a minute, but just fire over there with your forward facing sonar and, and the, those fish are going to, are going to spawn by stumps. I, I don't think a fish really cares. You know, he doesn't swim up there and go, there's an old five gallon bucket laying on the bottom. I'm not gonna spawn next to it because it's not an actual stump. Now, fish doesn't know the difference between a stump and a five gallon bucket.
And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.